Hey, look at that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We're working. Good morning, everybody. It's time for another installment of seven minutes in the morning this morning on the uh, skunk infused version of seven minutes in the morning. We're talking about how to overcome fear of failure. Be sure to stay tuned. This is seven minutes in the morning where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now here's the host of seven minutes in the morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Yeah, hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. I'll, I'll tell you the skunk story and the camera story and, and all that. But before I do that, do me a favor. Whether you're watching live or watching on the replay, do what Catherine has done already. Leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever floats your fancy. You just uh, leave that comment, say hi, let me know that you were there. And at the end, but only at the end. If you get any value from our time together today, leave a like, a heart, a thumbs up, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you, <coughs> you are watching or listening. Speaking of watching and listening, just a reminder, if you can't join us here live every morning, the replay is up every day. It's also on YouTube, most of the time on Instagram, and it's always on every podcast catcher known to man, except Spotify, and we're still working on that one. Everywhere else iTunes, Stitcher, uh, Google Play, all those. It's out there just so you can find it. Listen to it on your phone. It'll be awesome. All right. So um, it's raining outside. I probably still should have done the show from outside, though, because last night we let the dog out right before it's time to go to bed to, you know, take care of her right before you go to bed business. And in addition to doing that, fended off a skunk. So then we had, you know, skunk odor to deal with and still dealing with it this morning here in the house. So uh, that's our skunk infused version of the story and why I'm inside, not outside. Now, now that all that's out of the way, let's get to the topic. It, it is free coaching Friday, which means if you have a question, a comment or a topic you'd like to try and stump me with, feel free to put that in the comments while I'm waiting on you to do that though. I'm going to wrap up our conversation of this week about doing things that you don't want to do. And, um, you know, we're kind of rooted in, uh, this quote today. There's two of them actually. And they're, they're both really good. Uh, one of them is from John Wayne. Courage is being scared to death. Let's see if I can do it in a John Wayne voice. You want me to do that? I hadn't done the John Wayne voice in a long time. I usually do that in the fall and winter when I'm got head congestion. Well, uh, courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. I don't know. Courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. It's impossible to demonstrate courage in the absence of fear, but fear is okay, right? So specifically today, I want to talk about fear of failure and how that can prevent us from doing some great things in our life. Fear, especially fear of failure, but fear is an important part of who we are. It's an important part of our, how our body works. It's kept us alive, saved us from a woolly mammoth and saber-toothed tiger for millennia. Right, but um, it, it it doesn't really serve that purpose today. I mean, to some extent, it does, but <clears throat> all fear is rooted in uncertainty. All fear is rooted in uncertainty. Right now, sometimes it's uncertainty and pain, but uh, always it's always rooted in fear. So are uh, un, in, rooted in uncertainty, rather. So the way to to eliminate or reduce fear is to reduce the uncertainty. Well, a lot of people will do that by trying to study up or learn or gather information or read some more about it or watch some videos about it. That's one way. The other way is just to do it. Kind of like jumping in the pool, right? 
you know, it's pulled still a little bit chilly. You can kind of sort of ease your way into it. And, Ooh, it's cold. Or you can just jump in. You'll be cold for a second and then it's over with, right? You can, you know, stand at the door of the airplane, petrified, not usually for hours, but for a long time, or you can just jump, right? So that's one way. Study it down or just do it and learn, learn by experience. What do they call it? Experiential learning. The other way, uh, another tactic that you can use, and I, I shared a little bit about this in uh, Instagram this morning, but um, well, another tactic you can use is to go through a worst case scenario um, thought process, right? If I do this, what's the worst possible thing that could happen? Right. Then compare that to the best case scenario. If I go through with this, what's the best possible outcome? And then the most likely outcome. If I go through with this, what's the most likely outcome? And then just say, okay, well, if the most likely thing occurs, am I afraid of that happening? And that will almost always reduce your fear because our fear, whoop always shoots up to the top of the worst thing that can happen scale like that. You even get sound effects this morning. Whoop. So you got a John Wayne impersonation and sound effects. So fear always jumps up to the top of the worst thing that could happen, but we know that that's not the most likely thing that's going to happen. So if you can deal with the most likely thing, you should just go ahead and jump. I like that. That's a good place to end. All right, since I don't see any questions, comments, topics for me to tackle in the uh, in the commentary, then I'm going to assume that that's a great topic for us to end the week on. Since it's Friday, I want you guys to have a fantastic weekend. I don't, and I uh, suspect that you don't either. I don't stop working on the weekend. I just have a little different schedule. But even if I, when I say I work every day, even if I spend 15 or 20 minutes on it, that's work. Right. I might do 15, 20 minutes here, then go do something else, then come back, then go do two or three other things, then come back. We work all the time. Right. That's just part and parcel with the gig. But do take some time to rest, relax and rejuvenate. All right. That's kind of part and parcel to it. Also, you're here just in time to say goodbye this week. Bye. All right. That's it. Talk to you again next week. Have a great weekend.